Justice Louis Brandeis said, there is no great writing, only great rewriting, which I think is the nice way to say it. Ernest Hemingway said it like this, the first draft of anything is shit. This is true no matter what you write. Novels, business plans, content, articles, arguments, performance reviews, ransom notes, whatever it is, the skill of writing always bottlenecks at rewriting. It's the great commonality. That's also why you were re required to take rewriting 101 and 201 in college. Wait, you mean you, you, you didn't take rewriting? Your school didn't even offer a rewriting 201 or 101? My God, could it be, in spite of all that they charged you for tuition, college didn't prepare you for the real world? Well, don't worry. We're going to fix that. I'm going to teach you how to take the first draft of anything and cut it right to the bone so it's crisp and clear and powerful. And we're going to do that by starting in the right place. The most important thing I have to tell you is put the most important thing first. There are many reasons for this, but right now try this one on for size. You know those new drapes you just put in your living room? Yeah, well, they're on fire, and so is the rest of your house. If someone said this to you in real life, you would know they had something wrong with their brain. The most important thing here is the fire. But this kind of thing happens all the time when people write, and especially when they write for work. So with that in mind, which one of these two examples is better? For the last 150 years, the Galactic Empire has pushed the frontiers of weapons technology. Malicious will, plus a limitless research and development budget, has resulted in the construction of a fully functional weapon of planet destruction. Grimly named the Death Star, this is the most significant strategic issue facing the Rebel Alliance. This paper will explore our options for dealing with this horrible new weapon of oppression. So that's not bad. I mean, you really can't say there's any glaring grammatical error in there anywhere but compare it with this one. The Death Star is very big and very powerful, but it has a fatal flaw. It won't be easy to destroy, but it is possible, and this document will show you how. Many Bothans died to bring you this memo. So my whole point here is that B is better written, not only because it gets the job done in fewer words, which is very important, but because it starts with the most important thing, History is great, but we're going to get blown up today. B is also better because English creates an expectation of the order in which you're going to receive meaning, and it's subject, verb, object. So because you have this expectation, you get different meanings out of these three groupings of words. In the first one, a man assaults an innocent animal. In the second one, the dog defends himself against the aggressions of this crazy person. And in the third one, the two make up and go have lunch. So if the first thing that you read isn't the subject, you have to work much harder to figure out what's going on. And this is really a big problem because attention is a constrained resource. We are literally the most messaged human beings in the history of the world. So the problem with things like this is that we try to make the first thing the subject. And when it turns out that it's not about the drapes, we really have to expend some attention to figure out what's going on. So start with the most important thing. This, more than anything else, will help your writing be strong. So this is a real example taken from a document that someone wrote to recommend how a client should use Pinterest. And this is the first part. It started right here. And it went on for this vein in some time. You know, Pinterest defines itself as the site, blah, 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 pinboarding site, explanation, blah, blah, blah. But it went on f for this, like this for a while until the second page you got to this heading. Pinterest recommendations for the client. Now, logically, this should have come first. The here's what we suggest you do goes right up front in any recommendation. Not what Pinterest is, and not even that much of an explanation of why. I mean, that's important, and it should be included, but it shouldn't go first. For two reasons. If the reader agrees with your course of action, and they know what Pinterest is, you haven't wasted their time. 
And believe me, people hate you when you waste their precious time and attention. So here's how I might structure the thing, how social media fits into our strategy, which broadly speaking is always a matter of raising revenues or lowering costs. Then I would go to why Pinterest is a good fit for this strategy, how we should use it, a detailed plan, and then probably as an appendix, background intro on Pinterest itself. But honestly, why? Just throw in a link to Pinterest.com and let them explore it themselves and make up their own mind. So starting with the most important thing is true on every level at which you can analyze writing. At the document level, the paragraph level, the sentence level. For example, the often admonished passive voice. Everybody will tell you not to write in the passive voice. But why? What the heck is the passive voice anyway? Here's a classic example. Honey, an affair was had. Now, if you can't remember what the passive voice means, that's okay. Because I can't remember what it means either. I mean, not in any practical sense. And even though it's standard advice in English classes, no professional writer ever thinks, I should avoid the passive voice. What pros do think about are, is this really what I'm trying to say? Is there a shorter, better way to say it? And depending on what they write, how is this going to land with the reader? So this sentence is so bad that the subject isn't even in here because nobody wants to be the subject of this sentence. Let me rewrite it a little so we can see what's really going on. So there we go. An affair, the object, was had, the verb, by me, the subject. Because it's not me. We, we, we don't want it to be me. This is an object masquerading as the subject. And companies do this all the time. A mistake was made. We don't know how it happened. These things happen sometimes. There's nothing we can do about it. Meteor fell from the sky. It was damaged in shipping. I mean, it's nobody's fault. It was just, it was in shipping. It just got damaged. But a lot of the time, what this really means is we broke it. And notice how when you start with the right subject, the sentence gets shorter. So let's straighten this out. I had an affair. But there's another real danger in not starting with the subject with being vague in any sense. I mean, even if you're, you're trying not to own up to something that's bad, even, even if you're trying to do something good, if you're vague, something like this happens a lot. If you start in the wrong place, we usually assume the worst like this. The company's primary objective is to maximize long-term stockholder value while adhering to the laws of the jurisdictions in which it operates and at all times observing the highest ethical standards. See, starting with the company here implies that the company is the most important thing, not the customer. Because if the customer was important, you would have started with the customer. But if I stare at this a while and try and translate all of it into the way an actual human being speaks and writes, I wind up with this. The company's primary objective is to make money and not get caught. This thing is so badly written that you can actually assume these people are criminals from reading it. So that's the first lesson. And here's your homework if you want to do it. Read three things and see if you can start them in a better place. It could be an email from somebody else. It could be a blog post. It could be a piece of writing you're working on related to your work, something you write, something else, someone else writes. It doesn't matter. And for extra credit, you can send me an example of the mistake and your correction to himself at patrickemclean.com. Uh, or if you got this in the email, just reply to the email. And I'll give you feedback on how you did.